Well, he's got everything masked off in this one room. It's 3.20 already. I thought these guys were going to be leaving pretty soon, but look, he's getting into the paint. He wants to get a little bit of this done before tomorrow. He's got his own game plan ready. And this is his little machine he uses. The plunk. Five gallon container. And that's that's our special color, the uh, what'd you call it? What'd you call it? Swiss coffee. And I always thought Swiss coffee was something that was more off-white, but it looks pretty bright. And that's what that's what we want. Putting a little, what is that, a little gre grease? Yeah, a little lubricant. Lubricant. So the packings don't go. Yeah. And then he's going to attach that to a spray gun. Here's a spray gun all the way down over here. I'm kind of curious to see how this is going to work. Oh, it's going to work great. There's his little spray gun right there. We've got the air conditioner off. We don't want the air conditioner or heater on because then the returns would suck all these fumes and stuff through there or dust or whatever and through the registers. Now, now the air return, we could have put plastic on that and poked a couple little holes through it and stuff, but we've got that air conditioner and the heater turned off. We've got all the vents plastic off and he's getting ready. Oop, he's getting ready here in a minute. I'll bring everything close, just I tie everything up so I don't want nothing to go out of it. Uh -huh. So that way if anything is not secure, I can shut it off real quick. Uh. Okay. I'm going to stand back, I don't want to get any pain on me. I guess he's feeling pain up in his whole long hose here that comes out. He's got a small tip on there because he doesn't want it to cascade. When he does the walls, he'll have a wider spray nozzle on there, I'm sure. He'll get it adjusted. And some of it's going to go on the ball, but we're not really going to be concerned about that right now. He doesn't, he doesn't really care about that because once he re paints on the walls that's going to cover that up you'll see it's a it's a process one step at a time and they've decided they're going to do all the doors the frames the window stools the baseboard the door casings they do all that first and that's how you do all houses right yeah. you do all the pre-finished uh, casings and, and the finish work first before you do the walls and ceilings. Then do you do the ceilings next? Last. You do the ceilings last? Oh, yeah, I didn't know change. that. Like I used to do it like the way you normally see it uh -huh. for a lot of years. Uh -huh. But like do Because I would have thought the ceiling first and then the walls so you can cut in. Yeah, no. But you do it, okay. We do the, the trim first, then we cover the trim. Then we do the walls with uh -huh. the trim cover, right? Uh huh. Then we lay plastic on the walls. Oh. Yeah. Oh, from there down. Instead of. And cut it in. Yeah. Oh, okay. Instead of doing oh, oh. Uh. And you know what? We're, it's okay. It's okay. See this little. See this? Yep. That was that was there before, okay. and we're gonna put a wall-mounted okay. plate on there. 
but we gotta so. we gotta make sure it doesn't get any bigger. But um, anyways, there yes. Okay, so he's doing all the trim first, and then and then in the next few days he's gonna do the walls and then the ceiling last. Quite the process. So. Oh, that's nice. He wasn't kidding. He said it wasn't going to take long. And that's it, huh? Yes, sir. One coat and that's all? No, I come back for another one. Okay. He puts the first coat on there and gets a good base on it. Looks like. Oh, he's just, he just going to town. I don't do it. Two coats right away because I don't want it to grip. Uh huh. <clears throat> Hold on. Yep, right there. Come on. Thank you. I'll be his helper. Right, because if you did any more than that, if you did a second coat right now, it would it could run, huh? Yes, sir. You gotta you, you gotta let that first coat dry yep. a, a little bit. Uh-huh. Okay. Anyway, yeah. Mm -hmm. I let it dry, if I see a little drip, I'll take it off and then we'll do it all over again. Mm-hmm. But it doesn't take long. Doesn't take long to dry, does it? No. There's his first coat. See, it gets up on the wall, even even on a dark colored wall. Because when he paints the dark colored wall, I guess I guess he, when you do that, you probably have to put kind of a a, a quick thin coat first uh, to cover up the white before you do the full body coat. And then they get another two coats on the oh, wall. Oh, you're gonna put two coats of finish on all the walls, the white ones as well as the oh, cool. Yes, sir. That's nice. Even. See, and, and I wouldn't have thought that either. If I would be do, painting this on my own with a roller, I'd put one coat of paint on that. They're, they're doing full bore. They've got two coats of finished paint okay. on. Going here. Yep. That way I can do the door in my way out. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna stay out of there because he's gonna, he's gonna spray. Oh, okay. Remember, the, remember he's got baseboard in there. This baseboard all the way through there. They're just doing it the same way. That's very interesting because I've never really seen a painter come into an existing house and repaint and use just a sprayer. So I'm curious too, just like you, on the different process. What goes first, what goes second, and all that. See, he wipes that off each time. Or else it'll st it could drip and then it could not make your finish on the door. You know, you can put little Racks of splodges on there. So he's he's being safe rather than sorry. That's what he's yes, doing. Yes, sir. Rag is one of the best painter's friends. Yeah, <laughs> that rag. Yes, that's sir. right. I don't care how good you are. Yeah. Yeah. If, yeah. If you don't, if you don't keep your tip nice and clean, yes, sir. it's not gonna be nice and smooth on your on your finish. So he's spending extra time on that. Okay. He's just doing the inside. See, I, I'm not gonna show that. I'm gonna wait until he comes out here. You'll see. Don't worry. Don't you worry about a thing. Well, they've been down here for uh, yesterday. They were here for two or three hours, and then they got here this morning, bright and early, about seven o'clock. And they, he's got a guy working out down there. So just the two of them right now. I thought there might be a couple more guys, but just two guys getting this all ready. I can see you gotta be careful with that. Oh. Uh, his his helper is is putting masking tape on the door hinges and stuff. 
and he did it on the handle and the, uh, the strike or the latch on the door, but he forgot to do the hinges on that one. So now he's got to back up and, and he's not going to end up doing it. Oh, no. This one right here? No. So this is a small pit, I can 